Welcome back to the channel, and this will be part two of the Porsche build here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed part one. If you haven't seen that, check that one out. And uh, but I don't know, the car is pretty much stripped down where we left off. I haven't really done anything else, but uh, I think what we'll do real quick is we'll weld it up. We'll get the body all fixed up. We'll detail the interior real quick while it's all apart. And then uh, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to get the engine reassembled and uh other things like that i might need a few body panels and glass and stuff like that and seats and whatever but for the most part i think we have pretty much everything we need uh, we'll try our best to get this sorted out uh, but yeah let's uh let's bring the welder over here and uh, we'll get the car stitched up and uh hopefully uh Hopefully you guys are enjoying this build. I don't know. I'm like I said in the first one. I'm not really a huge Porsche fan, but uh, I don't know. This should turn out pretty slick, though. Uh, nice, nice. Looks good without rust. Sweet. All right, let's detail it up. We'll freaking bring this thing over there. And oh, whoops, wrong one. Car lift A detail out the interior 100 bucks no problem all right there we go she's all cleaned up so if we look over here we got 100 100 and these are all shit because nothing's on there but uh yeah i got some uh i hope you guys like the wheels and tires i picked out uh, they should look pretty sweet but uh, i kind of want to get the uh the engine put back together but we'll try and get the suspension underneath the back done here so we can get the motor back in there and get all that stuff hooked back up so that's all telling me to put the crankshaft in there uh, that's funny all right let's get that in there actually i think the engine kind of needs to go in first because that's kind of like the whole base of this thing there is no like cross member it's weird it's all up there so maybe we will just drop the engine in uh, as a matter of fact so we'll build the engine and get the engine in there and build the rest of the stuff around it why not all right so like I said here before we should have everything we need there's the crank this is such a weird engine uh, but we'll just try to put it back to get back together the way we took it apart so uh, we should have good pistons performance pistons so we're going to try to squeeze a little bit of power out of this thing. I don't know how how well that's all going to work out, but I don't know. But I do have some some performance heads and other stuff. So I've got performance barrels and heads and I think I got some cams for it. But yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. I don't want to spoil it all, you know. I mean, All right, let's get these in there. Yeah, this was a really easy to engine to tear apart. Uh, hopefully it goes back together pretty smooth. Get these rod caps on. And then we can start piecing the engine block back together and see how that all turns out. There's our first half. This is such a cool engine, man. I like these flat, flat engines. Okay, there we go. Uh, now we can put the crankshaft bearings on to hold it all together on that side. And uh, and then I believe we should be able to put the other half of the block on after we put that little mm -hmm. shaft in down there. I'm not even really sure what that's for. I don't know if that's... Oh, that's probably for the distributor shaft or something that goes off the oil pump down here. Or I don't know what this is. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know too much about this particular engine. But there we go. We can put the engine block in there. Seal her up. And now we can assemble the uh, cylinder barrels and the heads. 
So I got some performance barrels here. These should look pretty freaking sweet on there, man. I'm digging that, man. Can't really see them because all the freaking outlines of everything. But yeah, it's going to look good. Uh, we should. I got some heads too. I'm going to sell all these other heads. But we're going to use the good heads for this build. See how much power we can squeeze out of this baby. Let's go ahead and put the plugs in now. Got some hot plugs. And then we'll put the other cylinder on. Cylinder barrel. I wish you'd put these in the front. I keep having to scroll down the list. And that shit gets annoying. Plugs. And the other barrel. Yeah, this is going to be a sweet looking motor when it's done. Hopefully it pre performs just as well. Plugs going in. Uh, let's drop the exhaust on. I got some uh, nice custom manifolds here. They're looking pretty sweet. We'll drop these tubes in while we're down here. It's the uh, little push rod tubes. I assume that's what those are supposed to mimic. I don't know. Damp name. Now we can drop this guy in. And then uh, we'll drop the cam in on this side. And then we'll go to the other side and assemble the heads on that side. So we, I did get some performance cams. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, let's go to the other side and we'll get this side going. Because I kind of want to get this together. Both sides together type of thing. Put the other performance heads on here. Let's put the plugs in. Whoops. I believe that was the wrong plug. I'm trying to put the, the performance plugs in. I didn't even see. Oh, that one was the right one. Dang it. That's alright. That's alright. It's better to be safe than sorry. There we go. Alright, plugs. Uh, not that one. We're going with the hot plugs here. Yeah, we gotta watch out what we're putting in here because some of my stuff got all mixed up. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the stock heads and barrels for this engine. All this stuff here is gonna get sold. Because uh, I probably won't really need it after this. And if I do another Porsche build like this, I'll be buying, I'll probably be buying, you know... The performance parts again anyway so I'll just sell the the stock stuff it's not a big deal all right let's get the uh, tubes on underneath here and then we'll put the exhaust on like we did the other side and this, this baby gonna be looking pretty sick when it's done man I can't wait cannot wait all right, let's get this cover on. And we'll get the camshaft in, and then we can get the chains on. We got fresh cam gears. We'll do the other side, too. And then we'll put these chains on. It almost looks like a timing belt, not a chain, but... Whatever. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Alright, let's get this one on over here. It's on. And then we got some chain guides here. Fresh. Everything is fresh, man. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Let's put the crankshaft pulley in there. Right, we'll go ahead and get the alternator on before everything else gets in the way. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and finish up the sides over here. Oh, let's put these covers on. Ok, 
can't wait to put that turbo on. All right, distributor next. Put the caps on, and then I know we got some clips to put on. I should have plenty of these. It's a funky ass looking distributor. I ain't never seen shit like this, but. Oh, no, I actually I have. Well, no, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen this in real life. Like, you know, I haven't really worked on any Porsches that I know of. But there we go. The clips are on. Distributor is in. Uh, let's go ahead and put this uh, power steering pump in there. I got a good one for it. There was no, like, performance alternator or nothing like that, so... Um, I got this performance turbski set up, man. Yeah, you guys check this out, man. It's going to look bitching on there. Look at that. Zoom in on that a little bit. It's pretty nice looking. Ooh! Dang. All right, let's get these uh, rocker arm covers on, or camshaft bearings, whatever they call them. And then we got the covers here. Cover up that valve train. Looking good. All right, next camshaft bearing. And then we just got to slap these covers on on this side. And we're almost done with the engine. And we'll get that stuff assembled on the car there. All right, let's get this cover on here. And then we can finish assembling the top of the engine and get the belts on and everything. Alright, uh, there's a fan cover, and then put the fan in, I love how they call it radiator fan, but as far as I know it ain't got no damn radiator. Uh, we got a performance intake manifold, yes sir we do, check that out, there's a lot of bolts though. Yeah, this thing should make some power. I hope it does. I'm, I'm hoping to get... I can't really remember what it said it had factory, so... I think I showed it off in part one, so... Uh, we got a performance throttle here. Doesn't really matter which one. I think they're both the same. There we go. And then we got the mechanical fuel injection. Uh, assembly here. Now this is pretty sweet guys. I got a performance mechanical fuel injection right here. So it should be pretty sweet. Uh, I'm hoping it'll bring on the additional horsepower we need, you know. Uh, let's put the uh, ignition wires in. No performance wires or nothing like that. Uh, air box. I do have a performance filter. That K and N. Nah, I don't know if that's what it is or not, but... Um, clips. Four of them bad boys. There we go. And then I just gotta put some belts on, and I think it's pretty much assembled. As far as I know. So we'll drop these belts in here. Put this idler pulley on. Bam. And the last belt here. Alright, there you go everyone. I think the Porsche engine is complete. I think so. Looks good. Looking good, looking good. Damn. Cool. So now we can... Uh, I just say I'm just gonna say let's drop the engine in and then we'll just kind of build around it because I mean there's nothing in there anyways to hold it up it's kind of strange so we'll just pull this off of here and then we'll just put it in the vehicle and start building her back up 
think that's how we're going to do this one. I love how it puts that in the front of the car also when the engine is in the rear. Huh. I don't know. Install it, baby. There we go. I should have checked to see if there's some engine swap options, but I don't think there is. Nope. <laughs> be cool to put a big ass V8 back here all right there it is that looks better it's in there guys it is in there so now all we gotta really do is uh, button up a few things out here and uh, we'll be good to go I don't think I have a filter for it no I need an oil filter I should have a brake booster though yep and an intercooler do we have this guy yeah we do yeah, we do. Alright, so I think I need some exhaust pipes and an oil filter. And I think that's it up under here. Alright, oil filter's going on. Bam. Um, I found a performance intercooler too, by the way. There we go. That's better. Woo! Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now all I gotta do is get some exhaust pipes for when we go underneath the car. I think that's it. I think that's everything underneath the hood. So I think we're ready to finish that off. But uh, we gotta go underneath the car. So, alrighty then. Let's raise this bad boy up and uh, finish assembling the suspension and transmission down here. Uh, let's go ahead and put the clutch in there. Flywheel. Whoops! I didn't buy clutch stuff. Oh man, what a bummer. All right, well, I need to get some clutch stuff, guys, so. Well, we'll just keep going. We'll get the wheel stuff going here. And... and then I'll go shopping in a minute. <laughs> I need brake stuff, too. That's right. Okay, so brakes, too. funny there's just control arm just floating here <laughs> all right and then we got to do the struts also so uh, let's put this side together a little bit and then I'll have to go buy some parts Well, yeah, for being a Porsche and for never done this build before, it's going pretty smooth. I'm uh, pretty stoked about this. I just hope it's worth quite a bit of money at the end. I mean, it was worth a hundred something thou, I think, in the condition that it was in. So I don't know. All right, I gotta grab some parts, guys. Some parts. All right, let's get these brakes up on here. I got some rotors. Finish this off a little bit here. And then we're going to throw that transmission in. Alright, brakes are on that side. We'll swoop back over here real quick. Get these dang brakes on over here. There we go. Alright, so I gotta get this flywheel and stuff on so we get the transmission up in there. I wonder if there's a performance transmission for this thing. Let's check that out. Clutch plates, got plenty of those. And I usually use the performance ones, depending on the car. Okay, bearing, there we go. So there's the stock one. I don't know if there's an aftermarket one. Let me check. B6C. They had one. It was like three grand though, or 3,500 bucks, but there it is. Sick. Yeah, it's going to look sweet, man. There we go. I can't put the starter on because the stupid. Oh, we're gonna need an axle. Rear drive axle B. Shit. 
All right, rear drive axle B. We better get that. Rear drive axle B is going in. Oh, yeah. All right, and then we got to build up some struts on the machine. And that's pretty much it for this stuff back here. Uh, we can do the exhaust back here really quick, so let's find some pipes. Rear exhaust section. A and B. Uh, let's see if we got some custom pipes. Yeah, I got these here. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Ah, oh, what? Thought I bought that. No, I guess I didn't. Rear exhaust section A. Oh, give me just a sec. Alright, other pipes going on. There we go. Now it looks legit, man. Looking legit. Alright, let's, um... Uh, I need to put the struts in back there as well. Before I forget, but I want to get the front together a little bit here. Cross member. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, bushings in. It's so weird not having an engine sitting up here. So, so not used to this. <laughs> it's so, like, open and, you know. But this shouldn't take long to uh, reassemble the front because there's not much to it up here. Front sway bar is junk. So we need a front sway bar. Fuel tank. Got that. I think we got to put that... Stupid fuel pump in there. Uh, I was going to use a performance one, so I should probably get one of those. Um, yeah. Alright, let's get this fuel pump in there. Got it. And then I got a front sway bar here we can drop in. Uh, should have tie rods and everything like that. Let's get this knuckle on here. Drop that battery in too while we're here. Tie rods good to go. Oh, we need some arms too. Oh, damn. So bottom suspension arms we got. But I do need an upper suspension arm. Okay. Upper suspension arms. Upper suspension arms going on. And then we got to do some front struts also. Probably just do all the struts at once on the spring compressor and knock them all out and then... That way everything is done. Yeah, we're moving right along now. We got this side done. Let's get over here to this side. Slap all this together. And then uh, we'll be well on our way to making some more money. We need it, man. We got to keep this restoration thing going. I mean, if it works out like it should, every car should pretty much pay for itself. You know, I mean, that's how we can keep the money in the bank, you know. And if we go over a little bit on, you know, a car every now and then, it shouldn't be too bad because we got a million bucks in there. So um, we'll just try and keep it keep the money flowing though you know if I, I have a problem with holding on to shit so like I'll build you know I'll build something cool and then it just sits there and I won't I won't sell it you know I had a garage full of cars that weren't sold you know because they just look cool and I like keeping them but I need money in the game so I had to sell a lot of them you know so that's why I got so much money now finally is because I just decided to go through stuff and sell it and now we're making money though you know so it's it actually is it's actually pretty cool that i did that i'm glad i did that but that's it all we need is the struts and the wheels so i think i i think i have the rear struts but i'll probably have to buy the front struts i think 
So double shock absorber or double wishbone shock absorber rear. Yes. Oh, we need the rear spring caps. All right, let me grab those. All right, I should have the parts we need now. Hopefully, let's try that again. There we go. This might take a couple minutes. Hopefully not too long. Uh, shock absorber. Where's the rear, the rear one at? There it is. I think I already had some rear ones, damn it. And I bought more. I hate when I do that. But that's how you end up with an abundance of stuff. By accidentally buying stuff multiple times. Like a freaking dumbass. Alright, double shock. Double wishbone shock absorber. We're going to get this slapped in here. This, the rears are done. We'll get the fronts done. Come on, come on, come on. Take that. Do this. Voila. Whoa, I had some game lag there. That was weird. All right, let's see. I think I got the rear ones. Let's get the rear ones in there while we're waiting on that last one to finish up. Ba bow uh, whoa, let me move over here. Kind of screwed that up. Okay. There's the backs are in. Let's take this one off. And then we'll get these installed in the front. And then we can finally do some wheels and tires. I'm excited for these wheels and tires. Uh, I hope they look good. Uh, they should look good. I mean, I kind of... When I saw the car... When I started, like, getting interested in the car, I kind of already had set of wheels in mind i was like man i got a set of wheels that would look sick on that thing so i don't know hopefully they look good though but they're staggered sizes too so we'll see but that's it i think the suspension is done so now all i gotta do is uh mount some wheels and tires for us here and do the body and we're done uh so we're gonna install some parts these are the wheels we got um I don't know, I think they look pretty good. They should look good on the car. Um, and they're two different size tires. So, we got, uh, I think the, the rims are the same size. I think the, the, the rears have a slightly different, they're deeper uh, lipped, you know. Two thirty-five, forty, eighteen. That's the one, and then we'll start balancing this baby up. And we'll install the backs. Two sixty-five, thirty-five, eighteens in the back. There we go. So you can tell that the, it's a little bit deeper here, you know, than the fronts. Yeah, these should look pretty sweet on there. I changed the tires too. I had like an older style tire on it. I put these nice, you know, like race tires on it. I don't know. I hope they look pretty good on there. Hopefully they don't look like shit. Alright, we'll finish balancing these babies up. We already installed them all. Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, it's going to look pretty sweet on there, man. And once we get all the body panels back on, it should be pretty nice. Take that. And that's it. We are done with that crap. Okay, let's slap them on. Why not? And then we'll put the front fenders and everything on. Mount this up. Uh, 265 are going in the back. Two sixty-five, thirty-five, eighteen. 
Okay, let's get up to the front there and drop the fronts on. Yeah, I just think it'll look a little better than plain old Porsche wheels, you know. I kind of I kind of like the the look of these better than the Porsche wheels. So That's it. Yeah, they turned out looking pretty good. They look like they're just about the right size and Cool. Right on. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the wheels. Hopefully you like them. Uh, I think they look pretty sweet. Yeah, not bad at all. Alright, so that's that. Uh, now all we gotta do is um, drop this baby down. We can move it and finish putting the freaking body panels on and we're done. I don't know what I'm missing. Oops, wrong button. I honestly don't know what I'm missing. I think I have most of it. I know I'll need new glass though, more than likely. Headlights. Yeah, we'll probably need headlights. Sweet. Yeah, so front headlights. And I know we'll need glass. Yeah, and glass all the way around. And probably tail lights. Trunk too. So lights, yeah, lights, trunk, and headlights. Okay, I think I'm back with everything we need to finish this up. Get this baby done and painted. There we go. And then we got uh, fresh glass. Might as well walk around the car and get all that stuff put in. Sweet. Uh, we should have fresh headlights now. Yep. We'll just try and get everything we need and then buckle it all up. Okay, there it is. All we need to do is put the interior in. And... Uh, freaking drive this baby into the dino room all right let me get some seats going here all right let's get these seats put up in here brand new seats and we got a brand new wheel it had this ugly one but I found a nice new Porsche steering wheel out of a newer Porsche so I figured we'd put that in there why not <laughs> I don't know <laughs> just trying to trick it out a little bit it doesn't look bad in there actually I mean I kind of like it so but there we go but um in theory it should start now so why not let's try it out it did not start so we must be missing something <laughs> as usual oh you know what we didn't do though we didn't put oil in it so I don't know if that has something to do with it no I don't know I usually run into this problem where shit don't want to start for some reason god damn it All right, that should be enough oil there. But yeah, as far as I know, everything is uh, assembled on it. I don't think we're missing anything. I mean, we can check the list. Oh, global body parts and global parts condition. So something is missing or something. Don't know. But we gonna find out because 
We gotta find out. Oh, the starter. Her God Goddamn, I'm a fucking idiot. Jesus. We never put the starter in it. How come you guys didn't tell me the starter wasn't in there? Dang it. Alright, there we go. Now she should start. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, let's see if she cranks now, man. She's cranked up. Pretty quiet. But there we go. It's a runner. Alright, so all we gotta do is paint this baby. And uh, we'll be ready to go into the dino room and see what we got. Hopefully she makes some power. Oh, cool. We can put a little turbo stripe on there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I'll see about going with this chrome for this, but I don't know how well that's going to look. So hard to choose a cool looking color anyways. Because it takes a while to find the right color you want. And then... But I don't want to make it too long for the video sitting here playing with the colors and shit. I mean, that doesn't look bad. I don't even really give a shit. Like I said, I mean, usually I'm going to end up selling these. So it's kind of a red or something. But I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. Let me know what you guys think. It's pretty sexy. All right, let's move it into the uh, dino room here. And we'll take a look at how much power she makes. Uh, we did not dyno it beforehand. Dang, it almost looks black in here. That's pretty sick, actually. Nice. Uh, but its factory power was 362, so uh, we'll see if it makes close to 5. Maybe that'd be nice. So here we go. guys wow we pretty much doubled the horsepower that's awesome that's that's freaking killer man and so there it is I think it's pretty much ready to go I think it might be missing one license plate or no is it yeah it's missing all right plates. we got some custom plates made out here for this baby 911 turbo them turb skis um, plates. Alright, so now I think she should be 100%, everybody. Yep, 100%. So it is worth 291 grand. Wow, that's pretty decent, man. I mean, that's not bad at all. 58,000 restoration bonus. So I think we made out pretty good on that. But uh, before we sell it, I think we'll uh, take this one for a drive down the track and see how well it does. Just, just, just because. So we'll go to the old speed track here. And we're going to take the Porsche. Alright, we are at the speed track, man. I don't know, you guys ready for this? I mean, she's looking pretty good. I like it. It looks sweet. Wheels turned out good. Um, but we're going to freaking rev it up and let her eat. So here we go. Rev limit that baby. Yeah. Woo! Man, it's going so fast it looks like it's peeling the paint off of it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah I think I'm just going to sell this car though guys I mean like I said we're kind of in this for the money at this point so um, we'll move it out into the shop though one last time take one more look at it in the light out here but 
I think we're gonna go ahead and sell it, so I could use the money. But there she is. Um, that's it. There's the engine all cleaned up. Looks good. Somebody will be happy. Somebody will be happy. She's all turboed up. Alright, let's sell it. I'm ready to sell this bad boy. So we should get a pretty good payout for this. Uh, 349 grand. So that's a pretty good deal right there. I'll take that any day. For the amount of money we spent and labor wasn't that bad. So... There she goes, guys. It is gone. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And uh, I'm not really sure what car I'm going to do next. So it might be a surprise for you guys. I don't think we're going to do the 49 Coupe yet. Uh, I might leave you in suspense on that one a little bit longer. But it is a pretty sweet ride. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's next. Um, I'll look through some of my stuff and we'll pick something out. So stay tuned for that. But until then, uh, hit that like button if you liked the video. If you disliked it, dislike it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I uh, will see you in the next episode of the Restoration Garage.